gospel of Jesus Christ. Romans 1 and 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and all righteousness of men who hold the truth in all righteousness. You homosexuals out here are headed to a path that leads to destruction. The Bible says that no homosexual will inherit the kingdom of God. Do you not know that no homosexual will inherit the kingdom of God? Your filthy lifestyle is an abomination to the holy God. You're spit in the face of God. You change the word of God into a lie. You have unnatural You are born homosexuals. You are this way. But there's a better way. And that way is Jesus. That way is we are born again. The Bible says, unless you're born again, you won't inherit the kingdom of God. Put in these flags you've taken from the word of God. Those signs don't belong to you homosexuals. The rainbow is a covenant in Genesis 6 between God and man. So you've taken God's word and brought it into your homosexual lifestyle. God will judge you. God will send you to the lake of fire if you don't repent today. If you don't have a change of mind today, your destination will be the lake of fire. There's no such thing as a homosexual Christian. There's no such thing as a homosexual Christian. Whatever. You can't serve two masters. You can't be a Christian and a homosexual. You can't have unnatural affection for a man if you're a man. You can't have unnatural affection for a woman if you're a woman. That is an abomination in the sight of God. But God is calling you to repent today. God is calling you to turn away from your wickedness. God is calling you to be born again of the spirit and of the water. You homosexuals are not tolerant to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus is warning you today. God is calling you out of your wicked filth. God is calling you to be a new creation in Christ Jesus. God doesn't desire for you to perish. God doesn't want you to perish. There's a place called hell. There's a place called hell and that will be your destination if you don't turn away from your sins. You don't want to burn forever and ever and ever. You got to think about your soul. Eternity is too long to not get right today with God. Being a homosexual is not pleasant in the sight of God. It has destroyed the American family. It has distorted what God has placed in the beginning. God created male and female. Male and female to join together and become one flesh in biblical marriage. We don't care what the Supreme Court says. The Supreme Court will change the word of God. The Supreme Court will change the word of God. Heaven and earth will pass away. But the word of God abides forever. The word of God will not change the social lifestyle. The word of God is sufficient for you. The word of God tells you how to live. And by being a homosexual, you actually don't have a lifestyle. You have a death style. There's a way that seems right to a man, but his hands are death or death. This is a death style. You people don't love one another. I wouldn't get 
your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up, buddy. Hey. But the Bible does condemn your homosexuality. Love didn't win. Love didn't win. The Bible says, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, so therefore be zealous and repent. So the homosexuals haven't won love. You guys are living a death style. Your next homosexual act might be your last. This city of Fair Wayne is running rapid with AIDS. Shame on you, United Church of Christ. Call them out, brother. United Church of Christ, you devils. Shame on you. Shame on you. There's an exemption during the parade and festival. The parade. There's an you are not part of the parade. Oh, well, everyone is open to be part of the parade. The, 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 yes, it says that right in the right in the invitation to come to the parade. It says everyone can be a part of the parade. So therefore, we are part of the parade. Who's just in keep inside. What's your What's your name, sir? Who's in charge of Officer the parade? Officer Corn. You, you're being just so you know your audio and video. That's fine. Okay. I just need whoever's in charge of the parade. Are they allowed to be in the parade? It says, all, it says it's all that are not. You can be on the street. You can be on the sidewalk. We have a permit for the street. Right. But you can be on the sidewalk. Right. But they, they want to. They want to walk. No, we don't want to march in the parade. We're just. We're just part of the parade because all are. All are welcome and invited to the parade to be a part of the parade. You can be here. Right. We're part okay, of the parade. You can be on the sidewalk. We're, right. You cannot use your amplified devices if it's heard more than 30 feet away. That's there's, there's, the city ordinance. There's an exemption during the parades and festivals, though. There's a. There's an exemption. I have. I have. I have it in here. So and, we are part the of the parade. It's going to start down there and, and walk and it's going to be over at noon. But that apply, that applies. Okay, well afternoon then we'll then we'll then we'll get rid of our our uh, our permit. Then we'll get we'll, we'll use it after 12. You are not part of the parade. Yes, we are. You can be on the sidewalk but not on the street. Right. We have a right, but all are welcome to be two different things here. Do you want them to be part of your parade? Can we be? No. 
the part of the bar. It says all are welcome, though. You guys said all are welcome. Was it Christy? I'm, I'm Christy. Christy, okay. You said all are welcome in your party to be part of your parade. It says all are welcome. I, I did all supporters. All supporters. We, su we support you guys. We love you. Violating city ordinance. I'm asking for your ID. That, that's like 10 watts. That doesn't even, that's not being heard. here more than 30 feet away. Okay. As right. I walked up. Is, is, Chief, is uh, Chief Bentley available? Or Bender, excuse me? Nope. I'm here in his stead. All right. Because we've been communicating. Just so you know, we've communicated to, 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 to Chief Hamilton. We've communicated to everybody what we were going to be here. They knew our intentions. They knew where we were going to be. You know. You can be here. You just have to follow the rules. That's right. Right. Okay. ID, which is anything beyond 30 feet. But my understanding from the communications that I've had is to if, during the parade and festival that there's an exemption that those don't apply. So after I said after 12 o'clock, then I guess there would be an exemption. But my understanding, I think we've established you're not part of the parade. Not really. We haven't really established that. Yes, we have. Because you're using megaphones to speak against what we're here to do. We're here to we're here to march for peace and equality. And you're but that's not what the I know. But the but the the, the ordinance doesn't say that. The, only the permit holders have that exemption. It says anybody that's in the parade or part of the parade. But you're not part of the parade. Yes, we are. We're, we're here. The people that, that own the parade say you're not part of the parade. They don't own it. It's a public event. It's a public event. It's, it's, listen, if this was a three rivers festival parade, you couldn't do whatever you wanted to do because there's a parade. Okay. You're obligated to follow their rules. Well, what, what will happen okay. if we don't? What, what That's will, how it is. I understand. But what's going to happen if we don't comply? So you, to what you're saying, what's going to happen? Write you a ticket. And then if I still don't comply, if I still don't comply, I'll arrest you for disorderly conduct. So you're going to arrest me for disorderly conduct if I can continue. If you continue to violate the noise ordinance, yes, that would be making unreasonable noise and continue to do so after I ask to stop. Okay, that's all I needed to hear. Just so you know, Captain Corn, I mean, that, that I think, was it 10 watts? It's, it's a little low. Our, our bare voices are a lot louder than that amplifier. I'm just okay. what the city ordinance says. Okay, okay, that's fine. We have no problem using our bare voices. It, yeah, okay. okay, no problem. You just can't use a speaker that is heard more than 30 feet away. Gotcha. It's, it's all included in the city noise ordinance with cars and all that. You got it. Okay. Thank, Thank you, sir. God bless you. So I'm going to... Uh, Go put our amplification away. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe we should all walk that way and okay. come back. Okay. All right. You could do that. You want me to carry this? Do they still have your ID? No, I got my ID. Captain Corn, we're going to go put our amplification back. Uh, we're going to go put it away. We're just going to go get rid of it. And then we're, com then we're coming back. Then we're coming. All right. God bless you guys. In the matter, you want me to carry this, bro? I got it. If you could kind of film as we go. Okay. Is it on already? We're not leaving. We're just going to go put our microphones away. We'll be, we'll be back, back, folks. We'll be right back, guys, because we love you. We love you so much. We're going to come right back. We'll be back. We love you guys. We love you guys. That seems. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Real quick. Hold on. Yeah, get the sign in there. That's perfect. Sir, you guys need to preach the biblical gospel. God bless you, man. You supporting this stuff, man? You need to Don't repent, man. This lifestyle. I know there is no God. I go sign the No, we're coming right back just for you. We got life. Right back just for you. I'm straight. So you You're straight? You supporting this stuff? You're worthy of death. The Bible says. Oh, well. All right. So, um, you brothers want to cross and then go down? Or? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You want to go across there? Sure, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Let's go. Like, we can go now. Bye -bye. Yeah. We'll be right back. Bye. I'm just trying to get both.
We're here today to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Romans 1 and 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and all righteousness of men who hold the truth in all righteousness. You homosexuals out here are headed to a path that leads to and a homosexual. You can't have unnatural affection for a man if you're a man. You can't have unnatural affection for a woman if you're a woman. That is an abomination in the sight of God. But God is calling you to repent today. God is calling you to turn away from your wickedness. God is calling you to be born again of the spirit and of the water. You homosexuals are not taught in God's word and brought it into your homosexual lifestyle. God will judge you. God will send you to the lake of fire if you don't repent today. If you don't have a change of mind today, your destination will be the lake of fire. There's no such thing as a homosexual Christian. Whatever. 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 Whatever.